Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Mind Map. Today's topic of discussion is El Nino and La Nina. First of all, we will discuss about the introduction of the topic. Then we will discuss about El Nino, then La Nina, monitoring and prediction, and lastly, impact. First of all, moving on to the introduction. El Nino and La Nina are complex weather patterns caused by changes in ocean at temperatures in the equatorial Pacific region representing the opposite phases of El Nino Southern Oscillation that is ENSO cycle. The ENSO cycle involves fluctuations in temperature between the ocean and atmosphere in the east central equatorial Pacific affecting global weather patterns. Now let's discuss about El Nino. The phenomenon was first noted by fishermen off the coast of Peru who observed unusually warm waters. Named El Nino by Spanish immigrants, which translates to the little boy, it has since been recognized for causing irregular and intense climate changes beyond just the warming of coastal waters. The event is not predictable and occurs at irregular intervals ranging from 2 to 7 years. It has varied effects on weather and climate, from weak temperature increases with moderate local impacts to very strong rises in temperature that can have significant worldwide climatic changes. They are part of the broader southern oscillation, which is a change in atmospheric pressure across the tropical Pacific. El Nino is an integral part of the ENSO cycle, which involves fluctuations in temperature between the ocean and atmosphere in the east-central equatorial Pacific. It is linked with the southern oscillation, a pattern of changing atmospheric pressure across the tropical Pacific. Now let's discuss about La Nina. La Nina, referred to as the little girl, is the cool phase marked by below average sea surface temperatures in the east central equatorial Pacific. It involves cooler ocean waters and high atmospheric pressure over the eastern Pacific, leading to increased rainfall in certain areas and drought in others. This phenomenon occurs due to cooler than usual water temperatures in the eastern Pacific, leading to high atmospheric pressure over the area. La Nina results from cooler waters accumulating in the tropical Pacific between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. It is marked by lower air pressure over the western Pacific, enhancing rainfall in that region. La Nina typically brings wetter conditions to southeastern Africa and northern Brazil that can cause severe floods in northern Australia during strong events. Conversely, it increases pressure over the central and eastern Pacific, reducing cloud formation and rainfall, leading to drier conditions along the west coast of tropical South America, the Gulf Coast of United States, and southern South America's Pampas region. Now moving on to monitoring and prediction. Scientists, governments, and NGOs use scientific buoys and other technologies to collect data on El Nino and La Nina, facilitating accurate predictions and visualizations of their development and impact. Buoys, brightly colored floating devices, are deployed in oceans to gather critical data such as ocean and air temperatures, current flows, wind speeds, and humidity levels. These devices send daily updates to a global network of researchers and forecasters aiding in the precise prediction and analysis of El Nino's evolution and its global consequences. The Oceanic Nino Index or ONI plays a crucial role in monitoring by measuring deviations from the norm in sea surface temperatures in the East Central Pacific Ocean. El Nino's impact is quantified through the ONI with the event intensities ranging from minor temperature rises causing localized effects to significant increases leading to global weather alterations. Now lastly, moving on to impacts. El Nino affects ocean temperatures, currents, coastal fisheries health, and local weather patterns globally, often leading to increased rainfall and associated flooding in some areas while causing droughts in others. Previous significant El Nino events include those of 1982-83 and 1997-98, which had profound global climatic impacts. La Nina is characterized by below average sea surface temperatures, in the East Central Equatorial Pacific, leading to various global weather impacts, including increased rainfall in certain regions and droughts in others. The 2010 La Nina event was linked to severe flooding in Queensland, Australia, highlighting the potential for significant natural disasters during such periods. 
ENSO cycles including both El Nino and La Nina influence weather patterns across the globe including monsoon variability in India and other southeast asian countries with La Nina generally enhancing monsoon rainfall beneficial to the agricultural economy now it's time for the practice questions first of all prelims based question what typically marks the La Nina weather phenomenon above average sea surface temperatures in the east central equatorial pacific below average sea surface temperatures in the east central equatorial pacific unchanged sea surface temperatures in the east central equatorial pacific or extremely high atmospheric pressure over the eastern pacific you can send the answer of this question in the comment section and now mains practice discuss the significance of monitoring and predicting el nino and la nina events how do scientific boys and the oceanic nino index contribute to our understanding and forecasting of these phenomena so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications